Welcome to Spit Bucket. Uh, we're back here after our last debacle. Uh, <laughs> we mean last. Last debacle. It's just one of many. <laughs> it's the last, the last one we had. You destroyed poor old. Uh, we won't mention them again. Three wines. They may or may not have uh, something in common. Hopefully they're good. Let's uh, let's start with number one. Okay. Let's we'll start with number one. Love your nose. Have a quick Love look. Your nose. Have a quick look through the three of them. This must be interesting for you, us not saying a word as we're going through all three wines. That's fantastic, isn't it? Isn't the music playing? Can we afford music yet? We can only afford the music from Are You Being Served. <laughs> Are you free? Okay. Well, can I say, number three is the youngest. I would I'd assume it is the youngest of the three wines. I know why I've just said that. It's actually... They're all quite nice, nice enough wines. I don't see a major issue. One of my, I don't say there were any. I don't necessarily bring things that are supposed to be. But I actually brought those pinots because I like them. Um, so what grape have we got? Or are they different grapes? I don't know. I'd, I'd go. I'm not good at picking grape. I'd go Cabernet. On that one there. Are they all the same grape? I think there is. There's a lineal to all three. I think one may have a blend to it. I'm not quite sure, but no blends. They're all straight. All straight. Mm -hmm. So what are they? Or all Shiraz. Well, Shiraz, it's, it's a cool climate Shiraz. Well, you tell me. I would assume they are three, diff Shiraz. three different uh, regions. Three different makers, three different regions. Go. Three different vintages. Keep it going. Well, what's your preferences? Well, and I really, that's probably number one, to be honest. Okay, if I tell you this one is $9, one is $30, and one is $212. Oh, 212 bucks. Mm. Can I suggest that's a nine dollar one? Mm -hmm. I don't like that at all. Number two. I'm not sure what that is. You did a minute ago. No, I pushed it away. Okay. I'd, I'd suggest number one's the expensive. The, the two hundred dollar one. Mm -hmm. Nine dollar. This has got a perfumed aspect to it, number two, which is quite repulsive. Which is too quick. Is that too strong repulsive. a word? It's not a word that often appears in tasting <laughs> notes. Um, but on the on the palate, it's a real floral, flowery note on the palate. I don't like it at all. Okay, tell me, fill me in. Then, well, which which? So, what have you got? You've got two hundred and twelve. Cheap. That must be the middle one. Yeah. Third, thirty. Yeah. You, you two hundred and twelve is correct. Yeah. That's the nine bucks and that's the thirty bucks. Okay, well that explains that because that's something. Um, that's your, uh, I think that's the Oxford Landing. Okay. Uh, 2011 Oxford Landing, uh, Shiraz, South Australia. This is uh, the Barossa from the Barossa, 2010. Yeah. And this is a very rare wine. Yeah. This is your um, Tabilk 1860s Shiraz. Okay. So it's the vineyard from the 1860s. So it's one of the oldest vineyards on the planet. This is a lovely wine. Oh, it's a sensational wine. This is a lovely wine. Mm. It's some good value on that too. I mean, I, mm. I think it's some good. Some, some it's 112 some, bucks. <laughs> no, on the thirty dollar value. I don't. Seriously, that's about. Yeah, yeah. I, would, you I didn't much. mention good value and milk in the same sentence, did I? No, well, no, no, no. A lot of their wines are very good value. I'm sure, but not twelve. Yeah, yeah, you're paying. Yeah, it. exactly right. Much, yeah. But I do like the uh, the little, which is why you immediately thought it was worth just nine. Well, it's not actually. That's that's why it's thirty bucks, isn't it? Not yes. nine dollars. Yes. Okay. Okay, we won't buy anything this week. Um, <laughs> the wines are. The wines are. Let Line them up, buy. Kenny. Let me unveil. Kenny, can you hurry up? We're off on camera. We've got people editing this stuff. Yeah, the Tim Smith. I think it's, it's got... It's seamless, that character. Black Tim Root, Smith seamless. Wines, Barossa Shiraz. Oxford Landing. Oxford Landing. 950. And... The 1860s to milk. Excellent. Thank you yet again, Ken. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's a cheapie that's not necessarily going to inspire. That, I think, is a lovely wine, the uh, Tim Smith. It inspires revolt. Um, not the Tim Smith, I think. <laughs> and to milk, 
Um, that's correct. That's a nice lineup Absolutely of wines. Good exercise. Until next week, gentlemen. Remember, we spit. So you don't have to. Thank you.